Yeah, with no satisfaction. Can. Good luck with it. Thank you very much. We're going. It's Sean now. Sean, where are you calling from? It's Sean. Sean, okay, on you go. Yes, the the, uh, the climate uh, going around Scotland is is very poisonous because obviously there's people celebrating Rangers going bust with jelly and ice cream, and there's people who are you know voodoo economists who should be locked up in jail, just like yourself, because. Obviously, you're taking a part in the succulent lamb brigade for what you have done to Scottish football and society. Uh, Sean, how do you want that out, Sean, exactly? Do you know what? I shouldn't really tolerate you, but go on, you go. Make a fool of yourself. Continue. Keep going. Well, obviously, this is a scam. It's set up by Murray, and you're there as his puppet. Oh, and you're, Sean. You're, you're, you're off, you're you're off, you're off your head. head. You know this. White, you know white, this. White, you white, know white. this is a scam set up by David Murray. This Your is, name is Sean. You're in Shawlands and I hope... Sean. Sean, I, I wish I had that power. I wouldn't destroy it. I would make it better. But if I had that power, I would do something. Sean, you are clearly not well. So I think, I think you should go away and think uh, about this. I'm still where, this, where did people like that I'm, come I'm from? I'm still trying to work out what the succulent lamb brigade is. Because we were doing this colour piece with David Murray. I can't remember what it was, Jersey, and it was a thing. That I think James Spears was there. It's James Spears was there. Doing these pieces, and, and that was a line in one of the pieces I'd written. And so Celtics fans in particular like to bring this up. Succulent oh, lamb. I thought it was a so, succulent And actually, lamb. Could, actually could I've, had, I've, had, I've had a better meal with Peter Lowell and John Reid. But that's never mentioned. But there you go. This Sean, is the, this Sean, is to come down with me. This is Sean, your call. I know, but I just want to say, Sean, you have my sympathies. I don't know about Chip, but you have my I, sympathies. I you, clearly, you clearly are very bitter and twisted. Right, where are we going now? Uh, it's Frank, and he's in East Cobride, isn't it, Frank? It is the German trick, yeah. I'd like to make a point, and I'd be grateful if you call me names, is, and actually listen to the point I'm trying to make and comment on it, Jim. Now, what we have at the moment is wall to wall, quite rightly, scrutinising and investigating of uh, Craig White, his uh, business affairs, how he's been running Rangers, um, the £9 million, etc., etc. And this is all, this is, this, what this does, uh, Jim, is means that this guy can't basically move or couldn't move because of the scrutiny of the press, do more damage to Rangers because of the scrutiny of the press. My point to you is that for 20 years, Jim, Yourself, the in- inactivity of the press regarding Mr. David Murray and his way he was running Rangers Football Club is the, 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 the lack of any scrutiny, any investigation by the press, any questioning of anything more that came from the mouth of Mr. David Murray. And if you let me finish, Jim, are you ready to jump in? The point it wasn't me, actually, it was Jack. <laughs> no, no, the fundamental point, Jim, is that the media in this country, and you can laugh away, but Rangers fans at the moment are laughing. And the point is that the press are complicit in the situation that Rangers now have. And the reason being, if the, if the press had been doing their job as questioning, scrutinising what Mr Murray well, hurry up, doing, Frank. You've said that. You're repeating you yourself know, now, so we know your point. We know your point. You're repeating yourself. You're saying, point, that, you're saying the you press should have used the same scrutiny no, no, of David you, Murray. Jim, let me finish. You, let me, let me, I'll let you come back in. I'll let you come back in. Don't have a heart attack on us. Wouldn't do the programme any good. You're saying that the, the press and the media should have scrutinised and questioned David Murray more. OK, David Murray runs up £85 million of debt. Um, and that was highlighted in the media... And uh, David Murray signs Tory Andrew Flo for £12 million pound players like that. That was highlighted as pieces yeah. of nonsense. Hold on. David Murray, he repairs that, that uh, debt, and, and Rangers then continue to go on and they win more championships. Then David Murray sells this club to Craig White last May. That's David Murray's big mistake, if you're asking me. And that and questions were asked of that as well. So I don't know what it is you want, Frank. I don't know what the point Frank, is you're making. Well, 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 you well, you really have got something in the back of your mind that's been festering away there. Oh. Really, you should go and maybe take some medicine for that. Frank, and it'll maybe you, help it. Frank, can I ask you a question? What is it you've got against David Murray? The fact is, a uh, check. That this man, this egotistical, arrogant human being. Oh, don't who, it, but enough, yeah, enough of Jim Trainer, enough of Jim Trainer. Talk about David Murray. You see, Jim, Jim, you can, you're saying go away and take medicine, Jim. That's typical of your way of avoiding actually dealing with the I've problem. just right, told right, you, right, I've just right, told right, you. Right, 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 what is it that David Murray, apart from saying things David Murray, David Murray has taken the institution that is Rangers Football Club to bankruptcy. You were warned about it from inside iBooks 10 years ago by Hugh Adams. He's all turned a blind eye to that, apart from the Scotsman who ran the story. 
David Murray ran up an eighty odd million overdraft. And uh-huh. you see you may, you said you said you, you didn't you may have mentioned it because no, you it was highly it, it, it was highlighted. Right, 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 it was Jim, highlighted. Right. Don't allow people to speak, Jim. No, but, your but because you're talking nonsense, right. your facts are wrong. Nonsense. If you come Jim, on and you t- and if you want to go back and and we'll talk about the history of the last twenty odd years under uh, David Murray's ownership, please stick to the facts and right. we can have a discussion. That your facts are you're you're wrong. Right. This is what and Rangers fans are now suffering deeply because and David right. Murray sold right. the club to right. Craig White right. so that's another thing I can, que- I can question that as well De- Alan McCoy's made the statement and it's been made a few times today that uh, we at Rangers don't run away or don't walk away I think oh right. Frank these are only statements there's, there's these are only no things no, he's no, saying David Murray walked away Jim. Frank David Frank, Murray Frank. walked what, away Jack am I correct in saying that Jack he, he chose to get out of the club he didn't walk away he chose to sell the club that's what he wanted out he had enough he couldn't get enough. rid of it quick enough right. no, it, 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 it took four years from when he said he would like to get out until it was actually sold and I agree with you that he sold to the wrong man but you haven't actually said that I don't know if you agree with that I think he sold to the wrong man of but course you're, he you're did to, but you're totally ignoring the fact Frank that David Murray was the man who, for a start, uh, hand in hand with Graham Souness, changed the signing policy of this club, which desperately needed doing. It took courageous people to do that. You're talking about a man who was behind the funding of nine championships in a row. You're talking about the man who funded the signing of players Rangers could only have dreamt of signing, like Loudrop and Gascoigne. You're talking about the man who did take them to that huge debt figure, but then um, reinvested his own money to eliminate that debt. And of course, made mistakes. And and of course, these these uh, investment, the, the salvation of signing big name players has proven to be a huge mistake. But he did it. He was ill advised, absolutely advised. That has turned out to be the case. But did it for the right reasons. Jim. Totally different. Totally different from the scenario where the current owner of the club has chosen not has chosen to take PAYE contributions from the staff and not pass them on to HMRC. And I still, as I said earlier, cannot conceive that that is not illegal. Now, David Murray made mistakes, big mistakes, but that's what they were. Totally Jack, different from yourself. what Craig White has done. You're uh, deluding you know, yourself, Well, whatever, maybe I am, maybe and, you and, are. And, and, and I'll, and I'll Frank, tell you, you why. Oh, Frank, 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 don't shout, don't shout. I'm not shouting. One at a time, one at a time, one at a time. Frank, you you have to understand that other people have opinions as well. Oh, I do, but I'm allowed to act with my opinion. You're deluding yourself. I'll tell you why, Jack. The number one, the number one job for an owner of a football club is not to put that club to the wall. That they can... Your titles, your whatever they've won during that period means at the moment absolutely nothing to the die hard chair. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. right. I, I, no, but sorry, Frank, but no, Frank, no, Frank, you're, Frank you're, just, just let wrong, me say one wrong, thing. Frank. You two, you're just wrong. let me you're say, no, 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 Frank, I, I'm taking your point here, but you're no, wrong in it because David Murray didn't take this club to the wall. I, Somebody I, else has done that. Are you, are you, to you are public? stupid if you think that he did it. You you're off your, Frank, public, calm down. Jim. Frank, Jim. calm down. Listen, well, because you shout doesn't mean you say you're running the argument. You're sounding very silly. Calm down. You'll do yourself some damage here. David Murray ran up £85 million of debt. I've told you that. We highlighted that. He repaired that damage. Rangers didn't have a big debt when they were sold. Somebody else has run this club into administration. If you can't see that, you're very, very... Well, you're either blind or you're thick. Frank, I need to go. No, we're moving on. You're talking rubbish. You see, you end up having to apologise for people's language. They are so uncouth at times. So we apologise. John Cumbernauld. John. John? John? John?